welcome to Gemstone Tarot. It's Monday, the 23rd of December, 2019. Bali Bobolina joins us. She shifted spots. She's gone to a more kind of midwinter spot where she's a bit hidden and a bit cosy and a bit middle of the duvet. I can't blame her really. And we're going to have a look in the almanac. The almanac. It's nearly at the end of the almanac. We haven't done this for ages. And we're looking at types of frost. I know. Okay, we have the hoar frost. From hoary, meaning aged and whitened. Some days I can relate to that. In reference to the shaggy and feathery coating that hoar frost leaves. It occurs under calm and cloudless skies like we have today when there is no or very little wind and under inversion conditions. I love that. I might have to use that actually. I'm feeling a little inverted today. I'm under inversion conditions. When cold air is trapped under warmer air. Then we have advection frost. I love that. Strong cold winds prettily rim the edges of objects and plants with tiny spikes of frost, usually pointing in the direction of the wind. Okay, then finally we have window frost, also known poetically as fern frost or ice flowers. This is the frost that creeps across window frames, forming swirls, feathers and other patterns caused by the difference between the very cold air on the outside of the glass and the warmer, moderately moist air on the inside. The growth of the patterns responds to imperfections in the glass's surface. Ah, oh, the poet in me loves that, okay? I have a bit of a thing for glass. I don't know why. We never know these things, do we? But I do have a bit of a thing for glass. And I don't know, I just love like, we. I've got these old sash windows, which I think are the original glass. And even though it's a bit bumpy, and a bit weird. There is something very spiritual about glass. I know it's kind of made of sand and that makes sense that somehow glass is a living piece of something. Anyway, let's have a look. I'm using the mythic tarot. We're going Greek because it's a place of safety for me. This is my safety pack. This is my, you know, absolute go-to when I can't decide or, you know, ooh. I suppose I probably resonate with this one and the uh, Morgan Greer one the most. Although other days, other packs definitely have their moments. Ooh. Leave me a comment, actually. Let me know which pack you resonate with the most. Because it's different, isn't it, for everybody, really? Not doing any inversions today. Not feeling the inversions. Haven't done for a while. No, it's not you. Do also have a look at my Instagram. I put up a shot on Instagram that shows you the outside in of the house. I have to say, it was an accident. <laughs> I didn't know I could flip it like that. It took a picture. I was like, oh my God, I'm taking a picture from the outside in through the glass, it's a bit strange. You see a little teeny weeny bit of the tarot cupboard as well. Okay, I am gemstone tarot on Instagram because I have no imagination whatsoever. Okay, look, this is nice because look who's back, people. I know, the Ace of Cups, Venus and Aphrodite, whichever way you want to play it, and the huge cup. She's huge, the cup's huge, it's all huge, it's big, it's a goblet of love. I really like that actually, but it's not without its um, contentions and its minor inversions. We're going to be using that on Gemstone Tarot. Just as the frost finds the imperfections in the glass, so the imperfections behind the Ace of Cups are thrown into sharp relief on Gemstone Tarot. There you go, it's poetry people, woohoo! Okay, let's get back to some normal plain English. Mind you, you don't need that. My subscribers, I, I would vow that my subscribers are the most intelligent on YouTube. Seriously, there you go. I'm, th I'm throwing down the gauntlet. I'm throwing down the gauntlet. And I know because I do read all your comments and your comments are all really good. 
And there's very little kind of whatever they call, I'm not even going to say the word because, you know, don't want to invite it. But there's not much argy-bargy in there and I really, really like it. Okay, right. Ace of Cups. It's a big cup. It's a big cup of love and we love it. The chariot. One horse goes one way, one horse goes the other way. It's like... Can be love, hate, there's a certain binary opposition in something, there's a certain sense of which you're trying to keep the chariot upright, it's Cancerian, we're coming up in January the 10th I think to a lunar eclipse in Cancer which is quite a big deal, we're navigating our emotional highway here but I think we're doing okay, nevertheless there is some restriction. We've got the Eight of Swords, I think this came up the other day, the Gorgons, the snaky haired ladies, We've got this sense of being restricted when you kind of aren't really restricted. You know, the swords are around the front, but they're not around the back. But you're not really looking because you're too busy fearing. It's fearfulness. Two of swords is similar. There is some sense of an impasse about this ace of cups. OK. The page of swords, the feeling that more information is needed. And the Six of Swords, the desire to escape. I mean, that's what that is. On the one hand, you want to stay, and on the other hand, you want to escape. Let's have a Brian and Wendy Freed for that, because I tend to find ooh, that Heart of the Fairy Oracle really gets in the kind of parts that other tarot cards can't reach. Do you understand? The leaving. Yeah. The leaving is a quest, it's this little boy with his knapsack and he's kind of, at, for me, and this is my take on it, he's asking a question before he goes and very often in the Odyssey, if we're talking Greeks, you know, Odysseus goes off and Telemachus, I think he's called, his son, you know, also goes on a mini voyage to find his father but his father's finding himself and everybody's on this kind of circular um, you know, it's like the major arcana of the tarot. Everybody's on a journey. That's what we call it on reality TV. I want a journey. I've made a journey. This is like the real big spiritual big jobs journey. OK, there's a journey to get to that. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going right around the houses today, but sometimes that is what is required. The child. For some of you, it literally might involve a child in some way. For others of you, this is innocence. I'm going to take a third one, actually, because I want to know about this. The innocent. Like, you know, with the major arcana, it starts with the fool, and the fool is the innocent. It's always got a white rose. The number is zero. It doesn't start with one. The magician is one. Because by the time the fool becomes the magician, he knows the four elements of the tarot. He's got them on the table. He's calling down. When he's the fool, he knows nothing, and that's the point. This might be bigger than a daily, but you might have to get to the point where you literally feel like you know nothing before you get that Ace of Cups. The joy of the future. It's one of the nicest cards that there is in Brian and Wendy Frude. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, diddly gorgeous. I don't even have to explain it, it just is. You don't have to explain joy, do you? That's the thing with joy. It just is. Yep. Drop the never-ending story, okay? This came up the other day. I can't remember when. Um, never-ending story is when you get caught up in the Eight of Swords. It's in the mental processes. The yes, no, that I, he said, she said, she said, she said, he said, whatever. Someone said. And it isn't the point, Whatever this is, okay, you're on a journey and it involves, as most of these heroic journeys do, it involves obstacles and you also have the eight of pentacles. When was I going to get around to that? Sun in Virgo. This is the keep on keeping on card. Keep on putting one foot in front of the other. Don't worry about the chariot pulling you left to right, right to left, up to down, whatever it is. And again, like we were talking about with the frost, there may be imperfections on the window, but overall, I get a positive sense from it, okay? But I'm just not going to tell you that it's easy. Here we are. New love. Cupid's bows. 
very nice ace of cups but it's not a straightforward a to b situation Ooh, leave me a comment let me know how it resonates and i'll see you tomorrow namaste